Shout out to Eric Myers, Myers Mushrooms, for all his uh, videos and advice and tips and uh, cool stuff, Eric. Uh, I'm trying to figure this stuff out myself, and your videos are saving me some time. This is the uh, modular flow or modular uh, HEPA filter that, that you uh, posted, you found. I got one myself and uh, decided to take it apart. Interesting. There's a baffle on the inside. And it's pretty gnarly in there. I ran my fingers across the screen there. Um, but, you know, I managed to get the other filter off. And uh, it's gnarly, man. Unusable. Look at that. Nastiness, man. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Um, I don't want to be using this. So, uh, Eric, I saw your video. Uh, after I ordered my 2x3 filter, which is here. And, unfortunately, the 2x3 two by, two by filter is much too short for this. So, I was thinking I would slice this box open and maybe fit it in and block the uh, unused portion off with wood. Um, there's no real easy way to get this filter out, by the way. It's got a lip here, and it looks like it might be one piece of metal that's folded four times because I don't see any creases or seams along the corners. And on the inside, there's a spline or a, a ridge here, uh, right here, and it doesn't come out. It looks like some sealant here that's hard as concrete. But I don't know why that's there because there's really, I don't see any evidence of a seam. Um, there's got to be a seam on one side, I would think. So, anyway, um, what I'm going to do is either knock that filter out, notch it out, so I could fit my filter in there. As you can see, sorry about the video. Here we go. You can see, uh, I'll have to cut part of that that holder, the 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 spline or whatever, the folded the folded metal there, open to get that filter in. I think that's going to be my best bet. I was thinking about building my own box, but I already got a box here. All I got to do is seal off, you know, center it, and then I can seal off that much on one side, that much on the other side. I wouldn't be losing a whole lot of space unless I can cut it down somehow. I don't think I want to get into all that. Or I was thinking about just maybe building a box that would mate up. I'm trying to do this one-handed and move these big filters around here. Let me get this out of the way. Maybe build some sort of wooden adapter box for that. Which might be an idea. It probably wouldn't be too hard because all I'd have to do is get some plywood to made across that just basically all four sides I don't think it'd be that big of a deal um, anyway thought I'd give you some feedback Eric if you haven't cracked your uh, your modular filter open you're probably in for a surprise man it's it's nasty I'm not even gonna bust into the rest of this until I figure out how I'm gonna tackle it how what I'm gonna do to adapt this because I might just scrap the whole thing but um, I do like the low profile design. Anyway, thanks for watching.